What is up you guys, my name is Selena, and today's going to be a tutorial showing you guys how to create a 3D text with a wobbling look that's used in a lot of music videos, and we're going to use After Effects. And sorry I haven't really been posting for the last week, I've been in LA, but I'm back and ready to post a lot more videos. So, let's get started with the tutorial. Okay, so I'm here in After Effects, and first you're just going to create your text, so I'm just going to say hello. And then you can change the color of your text to whatever your heart desires. So I'm just going to change it to pink. And then what you're going to do is go down to the text and press that 3D cube button. And if you don't see that, you can press the toggle switches slash modes button. Now what we're going to do is go up to layer and create a new camera. And we're going to keep this at 50 millimeter. And then we'll press OK. Now if you go up to that rotating tool, you can remove the text around to different positions. To create 3D look, we're going to go down to our hello text and then we're going to press the down panel and then we're going to go to geometry options and then we'll go to extrusion depth and bring that up. So we can adjust this later but I'm going to about 93 and we can start to see this sort of 3D effect. And then you can keep using the rotating tool to see how it looks from different angles. Okay, so now to really create that 3D look, we're going to go up to layer and create a new light. And we're going to keep the light type at spot and then keep the color at white, but you can change it to different colors later if you want. And then you can keep the intensity at around 100 and make sure cast shadows is checked. Okay, so it's created a new light and you can start to see a better 3D look. So we can create different 3D looks by moving this light. So I'm gonna move it to the right top corner. So we can press the selection tool and we can drag that green arrow up and then drag the red arrow to the right. And then you can drag the blue line down so you could see most of the image. So yeah, if you move the light around or play around with the rotation of your text, you can create a cool 3D look and you can also go back down to geometry options and bring the extrusion depth up to around 200 if you want so it creates more of a 3D look. And then what I like to do is select all my clips and then we're going to press pre-compose and press OK. So it pre-composes it, which means if we go back to our first composition, we can see that all of the layers combined into one composition. So now you can add any effects you want to the text. So maybe you want to add like a wobbling wiggle effect. So I'm going to go to turbulent displacement and put that on my clip. And then I can change the amount size. And you can change the amount size to a weird distorted look. And then I like to keyframe my evolution. So in the beginning, I'll press the keyframe button and then go to like the end of the clip. And I can drag that dial all the way around the circle. So yeah, you can add any desired effects onto that composition. And yeah, that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and comment below if you want any more text effect tutorials. Uh, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.